thyroid stimulating hormone. This is that next one from that adeno hypothesis. So the thyroid stimulating hormone, I'm just going to write this in. It's going to stimulate oh, I can development of thyroid. All right, so um, thyroid stimulating hormone, I kind of mentioned this earlier, uh, stimulates your thyroid. Um, so it, it pretty much, um, it, it is like a lot of these, it does what it's really named. Um, the um, TSH thyroid stimulating hormone is also called a corticotropin um, because it's secreted by corticotropic cells. So they really like pair together. There are not a lot of these names that you don't see a connection to. Like the majority that we've covered really have an idea of either what they do, where they came from, or what they target. Um, so you can easily pair them together. Um, but the, uh, let me see. Oh, I skipped this over. I was looking at the next one my bad, um, the ACTH, adrenocorticotropic hormone, that is the um, corticotropin because it's released by the corticotropic cells. So my, my brain flipped those two. Um, I got this right though. I wrote that incorrectly. So I'm just going to write, I'm going to put this in. So this stimulates as well. It stimulates the adrenal cortex to release corticosteroids. And I mentioned that earlier, but your thyroid stimulating hormone, it's called a thyrotropin. Um, it's produced by your thyrotropic cells. Um, and this is its main function. It is released, like its secretion is triggered by the thyrotropin releasing hormone. Um, and that comes from the hypothalamus. So again, you see that hormonally controlled um, action. So from the hypothalamus to this adeno hypothesis. Um, but also you have inhibition. So when you have the, um, like the factor promoting its secretion, you need something to inhibit its secretion, just like with a lot of these other ones that we saw. Um, so the inhibition would be rising blood levels of the thyroid hormone. They're going to act on both the pituitary and the hypothalamus. So when you have um, high levels of that thyroid hormone, your, the thyroid stimulating hormone is going to be inhibited because if it stimulates that thyroid hormone um, and there's too much of it, it wants to draw back. Um, but that is all of the thyroid stimulating hormone. It was kind of short, which is what threw me off. Um, there were only like four or five main points. But adrenocorticotropic hormone, this is the next one. It stimulates adrenal cortex to release corticosteroids, right? So it's secreted by corticotropic cells. Um, and then you have the regulation of ACTH. So it's triggered by the hypothalamic, it's a corticotropin releasing hormone or CRH. Um, and just like a lot of the other ones, its name is what it does. It's corticotropin releasing. Um, and this is a corticotropic uh, hormone. So um, it's triggered by that CRH just in your normal daily rhythms. Highest levels are gonna be in the morning. Um, and then you also have internal and external factors that are going to alter the release of this uh, CRH, the corticotropic um, releasing hormone. That can include like stress, fever, um, hypoglycemia is the other one that was listed in Neil's notes. Um, so there are a bunch of different factors, but ACTH is regulated hormonally by the CRH. Um, and that again comes from the hypothalamus. But after that, we get into FSH, your follicle stimulating hormone. So the FSH and LH are kind of paired because they are both gonadotropins. Um, gonado meaning gonad. So this is what it's really focused on. Um, so your follicle stimulating hormone 
is going, it says stimulates production of gametes. Um, and gametes are uh, in females' eggs and in males' sperm. Um, so this follicle stimulate, or yeah, the follicle stimulating hormone um, will stimulate, will encourage that production of those gametes because uh, in males, the production of sperm does not occur until puberty. Um, so there are no sperm present um, until, like during their childhood. It's only when they've hit puberty does that production begin. Um, in females, you have, uh, females have all of their eggs, but they're in the immature form. So they have to go through this cycle within the ovary to become mature before it can be um, kind of like pushed into that fallopian tube um, so that FSH helps with that, um, with that production of that maturing um, egg in that situation.